So let's say I come in, it's 200 milligrams testosterone a week. My levels end up 900, maybe 1,000, okay. which based on blood work is kind of at the high end of the you're, spectrum. You're, you're creeping up, yep. So I don't think naturally, even in my 20s, I don't think I, my testosterone was probably ever at 1,000. So what would be that comparison, you know, my 48-year-old self at 1,000 versus my 25-year-old self who might have been 700, 800, wouldn't you still consider this 48-year-old version of myself now enhanced? Uh, and that's a good question, and the answer is, is slightly you are, yeah. And the thing about it is that, is that a bad thing? With medicine, the first thing you learn in medical school is first do no harm. Right. Okay. First, do no harm. So if an individual feels great, their brain is working great, they're muscular, they're strong, they're motivated to go to the gym, which is a big reason to put somebody on testosterone, right? right. They're motivated, they're uh, spontaneous, they, they have that virility back. If they feel good at 900 and they're not hypertensive, I'm not having to go and have them phlebotomize, take blood from them every three months. They're left ventricle isn't thick, their prostate isn't enlarged. They may be, yes, enhanced. Is there something wrong with that? In my opinion, no. But I would make the argument that you're probably a better version of yourself at a total testosterone of 900 than you were when you were 25. So I don't have any problem right. with that. I really don't. Do I have a problem with you coming back here and being 1,500? That's not going to happen in this clinic. You're not.